Hanlon's Point is Toronto's first and only legal nude beach. It's been a safe haven for the 2S LGBTQ plus community for nearly 100 years. And now a plan to put a 20,000 person festival venue right beside the beach has left some community advocates worried that queer people will now be pushed out of the historic space. It became clear to me that uh, the suggestions and the input from a lot of people that I knew in the community weren't being adequately represented. The City of Toronto has been consulting about the future of the islands for more than two years. We're told thousands of residents have been surveyed and those voices as well as input from industry experts have gone into a master plan. The intention is to uh, you know, collect ideas, advance the work, come back, confirm the work, advance the work. Daniel is one of the planners. He says the city would add infrastructure to an area already used for music festivals in the summer. Currently, festivals like Electric Island need to have power generators, porta potties, and other equipment delivered to the event before it starts, costing organizers. The idea is to uh, to build a space that is um, flexible, that can host an event uh, on Saturday that is, you know, a thousand people, and an event that is 50 people on Sunday, and then on Monday to Friday just be available for people to use as it normally would be. The idea of a permanent festival venue here isn't sitting well with some. After hearing of the proposed changes, Travis and some friends got to work. Following hours of research, they put together this page, Hands Off Hamlins, which has now amassed thousands of followers. It's Canada's oldest surviving LGBTQ plus space. When we got into it and realized that the plan didn't adequately reflect that aspect, um, it was a bit of a surprise. City planning is in phase three, which according to its website means we are past the ideas and concepts phase. So there's some important questions that we need to be asking the city right now about who, who exactly it is that wants this? Since the people who were involved in the planning process as uh, subject matter experts and individuals who have been interviewed certainly said they didn't. When we started this Instagram account, thousands and thousands of people said that they didn't. The city has added another public consultation focused on speaking with members of the 2S LGBTQ plus community. It's scheduled for February 27th at the 519 Community Center. Registration quickly filled up and now city staff are adding a virtual consultation date. For this consultation process, will the uh, voices from later in this month be actually heard? Could this plan be adjusted or is the plan final as of now? The plan is not finalized yet. The Toronto Islands fall under Councillor Ozma Malik's writing. She says preserving queer spaces and listening to the community need to be top of mind. Community members are raising concerns about what they're seeing when it comes to handlands and those concerns are legitimate and there is an opportunity here for those concerns to be raised. City staff tell me they hope to have a final report ready for council to vote on by the end of this summer. For a link to that proposal, you can head to our website citynews.ca. Quinta Bignall, City News.